Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast Continuum. My name is Sliced Lime. Over the last few parts, we've been doing a massive upgrade to our Void Ore Miner. And so I got that done at the end of the last episode, and I wanted to give it some time to get us some resources. So I've done a whole bunch of off-camera work here. I've harvested all of the things for our farm, and then I've done a whole bunch of bee work. And uh, as part of that, one thing I've done is I've run everything that we have through this analyzer. So we kind of know what everything is now. Used up a whole ton of these honey drops, but that's good. So if you see this one, we can see that this is actually like a diligent one in its inactive trait. So is this one, and so is this one. So I have the traits of all of them now, and they were getting too many. So in my actual bag, I now only have the ones that are a little bit more interesting. So we have all of the sort of further more ones here, the little more special ones on the first page, and then the cultivated and common ones. So we have a bunch of them that are like past tier one, I guess, and everything else is in here, like a million of them. But all of these are also like, you can see this is a rocky water hybrid here. So we know a lot more about our bees now, I guess is what I'm saying. Cultivated princess, this is a cult cultivated and diligent hybrid. Which probably means that we should put this together with something. So, common and cultivated breeds noble. Uh, noble and cultivated breeds majestic and so on. Probably just stick a... We have a couple of majestic ones. We'll probably just stick a common in this one because it's uh, ignoble. So I have a ton. Common and diligent hybrids, maybe. Because this is a... Cultivated diligent hybrid, so that kind of makes sense. So I think I'm figuring out a little more about the bees now, but this is a very complex system. It does a lot of things, but yeah, I'll keep doing this, uh, probably mostly off camera. I just wanted to show you sort of what I've done, and yeah, I'll just go through and do this with all of them. So that we know, okay, so these are tolerant flyers. This is just a cultivated one. This is a common cultivated hybrid. So yeah, throw them back in there. All right, so out of the ones that we have found, we have a couple of noble ones that have been out there. They're in the breeding right now. We have the red princess and red drone. You saw that last time. We have an esoteric drone, a sinister drone, and the sedfest drone. We've had these forever. This diligent drone is new, and a couple of majestic drones are new, and the valiant ones, we just started out with one, but now we have like a million. Uh, so. Majestic Princess, Majestic Drone. Nice. So if you take a look around here now, we have Esoteric Princess and Drone. Unwary Princess and Drone. These are just cultivated ones. These are cultivated. These are cultivated. These are common. This one is a Noble Queen. It's not done its course yet. So this is Valiant. So yeah, it's it's progressing. But it's slow, and I'll do most of it off-camera, because it's, yeah, it's very grindy. It's to the point where, if I go through and do this with all of my setups, the first one is almost done. <laughs> so, I, I could just do that forever. Alright, but that's not what we were gonna do today. I don't want to get stuck on bees again, and you're probably really tired of bees by now. We're gonna do something else, and that relates to the Void Ore Miner and the stuff that we have been working on here, so... Let's actually start with a different thing uh, that I've completely forgotten. So I got this loot chest last time, and we're going to take that and uh, open it. <laughs> See what kind of magic food we get, because we often get food. Copper ingot. Oh yeah, four copper ingots. We have about a million of those, but fine, fine. Not going to say no to that. Okay. So what I want to do, actually, is if you see this over here, this is now doing a thing with the bauxite, and it's taking forever. And this grinder has been grinding up stuff, so there's some stuff here. There can be bauxite in here, um, but there isn't at the moment, but we get iron and silver. So I want to get some more of this stuff, the iron and silver and the bauxite that ends up in there, to be more automatic. Because yeah, it's... A lot of this taking a lot of time right now for just moving, like me moving things around. And everything ends up here. So I want to figure out how to do that better. 
And that means we need a lot more of these item ducts. And that's this recipe, which means we need to kill more cows, I guess. I killed some, but yeah. So we should probably do another culling here. Oh boy. Oh, okay. So I bred all the cows and then I slaughtered a bunch. You can see the results here. I have at least a stack of leather now. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to make all of that leather into pipes and then all of those pipes into other pipes. And then we need also to make a bunch of servos. But that should be fine with the amount of stuff that we are getting now or have gotten while I've been doing this. Like, look at this amount of iron. It's really nice. Um, we should be okay. But this has, so that the change to a void or minor tier two has definitely slowed down my income. Uh, and that's pretty, I thought that that would happen. And it's, so it's expected, but yeah, it's a little bit of a problem. It's because there's not enough power going into the void or minor to sustain it on level two. We had more than a stack of silicon. Okay, so we have this going. We're getting eight a piece, which is great. <laughs> So we're going to get tons of this, and we'll, we'll need tons of them, so that's good. We also need these redstone servos, so iron and redstone in the EFAB grid, which means I should probably take some of this back out. Whoa. What are you doing there? Okay. Uh, fine. All right, that's a full stack. Let's go over here. Let's put in this recipe. And that gives us 64 item ducts. Nice. And we're still making more over here. Like... So, that's good, because we'll need many pipes. Many, many pipes. The other thing we need are these servos. Uh, we could upgrade them if we want. We made a bunch more of that, but really what we need is this servo. So it's glass, iron, iron, and redstone, which is... that's not bad. We'll need a bunch of these too. Uh, we also have four electrums, so we can make four of the better type. I think we probably need that. All right, so now we're in a pretty good position. Now we can start looking at this. So, this these hoppers could kind of go, to be honest, but whatever. Uh, actually, I'm going to remove them. So now, what we need to do is we need to bring stuff from here to all over the place. <laughs> so, actually, this is kind of annoying that this is there. So, I don't think I want this chest here. Okay! Decided again, I moved the rolling machine over here instead. And we'll move this one up here, because that's going to be much easier. So then what we can do is this, and take one of the better servos, put that here, and then that one we're going to tell, oh, you can only pull bauxite dust out of this chest, and put it in here. Which I, I can't touch this, I don't think, because it'll stop this process, which is super annoying. <laughs> okay, so we have these drums. And they're kind of small, actually, but we have this problem down here. This thing is full of creosote oil again, and I could use some of it up. Oh, let's sleep while we're at it. I could use some of them up by making more sticks and stuff for more water wheels, but it's still a bit of a problem. But we can make things out of these. We can make iron drums, which I hope are a lot better. For those, we need a bunch of iron plates, that's fine, easy enough. But we also need these, so we need a couple more redstone servos, copper ingot, and glass. So that's all easy now. See, it's amazing how stuff has just gotten easier. Uh, we do need redstone for that, we have a bunch. Okay. Alright, so two of these portable tanks, and then six iron plates, which you just throw iron in here, so that's easy. One, two, left. These go in here. That's a plate. Yep, it is. Cool. Okay, so we have the six plates now. We should be able to make this into a drum. I still don't know how much this contains. Uh, I could probably look it up online, but it might have been changed in this mod pack, so who knows. Um, creosote oil is this thing. So I'm just going to remove this. Whoop. Uh, we'll put... Please. We'll put that there instead. And instead of pulling this up to this tank here... Ooh. These are the old style of those. What's a fluid duct cost? Well, okay, so we don't have that yet. So we'll have to rely on those pipes for 
transfer pipes for these. I guess this is annoying. Um, I guess we can just do that and then try to get rid of these inputs. The problem is I can't see properly where I'm what I'm working with here. That. Okay, that's cool. Those went into somewhere. This one in here. Okay, so now this thing should be filling up with creosoid. And that has 256 buckets. Ooh, ha ha ha. I like that. I do need a... Transfer node for fluids then. So we need another one of these. We have... I wonder if I have any copper electron tubes left. I certainly don't have any of these left, so... We'll have to make more of them. I do have a transfer node laying around here. I think it's an item one, though. Yeah, that's an item one. Bunch of time later, this is just about done. So we'll be able to move that in a second. And this is also just about done, so we'll have that in a second. And that'll let us make another uh, fluid... Fluid... This transfer node fluid, and we'll be able to take this out of here and put it into here, which is what we were after. So that's done. Let's craft these into one of these. I did find that I had one copper electron tube left, so that's good. And now we should be able to put oh that there. And this could get interesting. So we need a transfer pipe. That's going to connect all kinds of ways. Yeah. So, so can I do the, uh, I can do that. Cool. Perfect. This is full. This is still filling up. And that means that finally we can put stuff back, oops, smack back into here to keep working. Cause, so this has coal and then we'll make coal coke. But of course we're not going to do that. We're going to do it automatically because we're getting coal into this thing. So. Up here, we have coal here. So I guess we could just pull this down. Uh, it's not going to be from there, though. It's going to end up here. Or we do we split it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's split it. So we'll put this here. Disconnect that thing. Put this here. And we want coal to go into this one. So this is going to be a whitelist of coal and probably some other stuff and ignore that and it also means we'll have to configure this output to also go here but it should be okay so coal's gonna go into this chest and then from below we'll pull the coal back out of that chest and direct it wherever we want it so this is kind of a way to split where we put things so we're going to have to jump up on this thing. Uh, uh, here it is. Okay, this torch is going to have to go. And I'm going to put it back because that uh, that was creating problems before I got attacked by a skeleton here. Uh, so we'll put that there. I got it. Put this on first, I think. Oh, dang. Need a piece of coal. Alright, so, coal there, whitelist, I guess, stack size extracted, I think I just want one, probably just one, because this is a slow machine, and, no, not, not the transparent ones. So, hopefully, it can put coal in here from up there. Now. Fifty-one. I have no idea how quickly that's gonna go, though. There were fifty-something in this here. Fifty-nine, fifty-one. It's taking stuff out of there, though. I think that's a good sign. Probably a good sign. This is done. Uh, so let's take uh, all of these stuff out. Stash them for now. These, I guess, we'll just put in down here. I shouldn't have taken those out. I should have, should have let that go. Well, I had to. 
All right, let's just throw this in here for now. Uh, this is 64 now, so we're automatically filling this. That's perfect. The next step of this, so now we have that coming over here, like. So I was gonna say, but that does not connect. Dang. How do you get things into this? Can you only... Okay. Maybe you can only connect it on the side? I know I've connected these things before. I'm reasonably certain that I've collected these things before. No? Can we not autofill this? Dang! Well, then I guess it'll just tear this down again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is taking a little longer than I had expected, actually. So, we're gonna call it a part here. We have at least automated coal into our coke oven. That's something. And we've started the process of automating our titanium and metal stuff, but there's quite a lot left there, so we'll pick that back up next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me for Feed the Beast Continuum. This is Slice Slime, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.